Do you love art? Art? Yeah. Are you guys art buyers? <laughs> You're not? No. You don't buy art? Are you art buyers? <laughs> I only asked if my mom's an artist in Norway. And I was, I was going to be like, oh, you should look her up <laughs> and see if you like any of her pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Be, it's old. You, you don't. You yeah, yeah. That. that's coming around again. Syphilis Is right it? now. That's the one that's. I the think syphilis come there's back, something baby. that's. Syphilis, the remix, baby. Watch it's your crazy. pussy. Syphilis is coming back. It's, coming. Right. it's dropping. Got a dope Michelangelo card here. Boom. <laughs> It's comedians opening cards, no coffee, and we're outside the stand, and I got Oscar. Hello. How was your set? It was fun. It was tight, but it was fun. Yeah, I had yeah. a great time. Yeah, I yeah. Have a good you time. need a good loose crowd for your freaking. Uh... I, need, I always need something <laughs> nice and loose. <laughs> You're so funny, Oscar. <laughs> All right, well, how does this work? All right, so all that happens, so we got all these old uh, collectible non-sport trading cards, and you just pick a pack, you open it, then I, ask, I go like, well, why did oh, you pick... Oh, look at that, Roger Rabbit. Right. Oh, oh my God, Howard the Duck. Right. Oh, I remember Right, that it's movie. the whole thing, and then it's like, then I go, hey, why oh, did you pick that one? The and you're like, hey, Griffith because of whatever. Show. It's just reminiscing and stuff, then you open it, and you just, you these know... These are great. Yeah, it's a fun thing. You don't have the Golden Girls, do you? I don't know if they made cards for that. Oh, oh I remember Beetlejuice. Yeah. And you I know have... what I do love, though, is I love the, uh, I love Howard the Duck. Can I do yep. that one? Yeah, of course. Howard How the Duck is a work? great one. You what just you... open it? Yeah, so you just open up no, the... No, you need to keep this in the pack. Uh, I have plenty. Are you sure? So, like, I bought... So, I have, like, 30... Are you 30... sure I can open it? Yes. This is the whole name of this game. It's just the freaking... You know, so why did you pick Howard the Duck? Because I remember I watched that movie as a kid, and I absolutely loved it. I was obsessed with 80s movies. Like, if, like Howard the Duck. Um, what's the... Flight of the Navigator. Ooh, I don't know that one. Oh, my God. If you're an 80s baby... What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll know what that movie is. The Flight of the Navigator. And then... Uh, there's a few huh. like Never Ending Story. Yeah. All these like all these movies from the eighties that had like fictional characters like Roger the. But Ro this Roger is the... super bizarre. This is the first Marvel superhero movie. Is it really? Yeah. This was a this was a comic book uh, in, from the seventies. Wow. Why are you? You know, this is probably worth a lot of money. A lot of money is uh, is not the case. How a duck can make a buck. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, this is so fun. So that's all the that's all the backs. That's a puzzle then. So you know like what do you oh. remember about the film? I mean it's a real I just remember watching the one thing about is I remember the guy that was in the movie that was the villain. Yes. Was in Ferris Bueller's Day Exactly. Off. He always played a villain. He always played the bad guy in a lot of the movies. Right, right, right. If you right, watched right. him, he always played the bad guy. Right, right, right. So I just remember that. And he was hysterical. Yeah, yeah. he was a great actor for that stuff. And what's funny is like at the, like as I got older and I remember watching the like watching Howard the Duck, oh, as a kid, right? I didn't understand it. But yeah. as an adult, Yes. The fact that the duck had sex with a woman. Exactly. Now, in the film, they only show them kissing. Now, if you'll sign one for me, and then you can keep them if you want, the others. No, you keep this. No, I, it's, whatever. Well, you don't have to take them, because you well, may you, not want them. You want, want them, me to sign it? Just, any card. Just sign a card, whatever you want. It's all, you, you didn't oh, even look God, at the look front. look at that. I know, you oh, didn't even I look know. at the things. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know, you're in a hurry and stuff, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> Oh my god, that's Apparently so in the fun. comic book they go more into that uh, you know, them oh, relationship. I love that. You know what it is? Also, I'm nostalgic for eighties movies. The eighties and eighty late eighties, early nineties movies, the best. Yeah. The fucking best movies that they had out there. Like uh what is it? Uh, those were like Tom like Tom Hanks glory days of movies. Uh let's see. It was The Money Pit was really good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that one. Hills. Yeah, yeah. Big Business. Throw Mama from the Train. Yeah, 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 yeah. All these good old movies like actual when 
movies were good and it wasn't now is it because of the it's really you get nostalgia because that was the age when you you know were the right age for that stuff probably and if you grew up now you, would you say that you'd probably think the same thing because it's only like people think that with music like there's a certain zone where whatever music you oh, heard there, that's what I have, a, I have a friend who's I have a friend who's in his late 60s early 70s and he he's like oh the 50s and 60s were the best times right, for right. music of course of course right. of course so you're always going to be nostalgic for that area where you right. had the like most growth right and I bet the same thing happens with the with the with the with, with the movies and stuff yeah now the only thing I'm going to mention about the Howard the Duck, the odd thing about waterfowl compared with birds that don't, waterfowl actually have penises, but the like a robin and stuff don't. Oh, so I didn't know that. so you could. I mean, Wait, it's a weird, on. just a weird thing. Where in Denmark are you guys from? Oh, what a beautiful place! Oh, they had like the first ve veggie and vegan food if when you traveled back in the day. So more than anything else. My cousin lives outside. So if you go, my mother lives in Norway, and then I have relatives that live in Sweden. So if you go <laughs> from, if you go on the coastline of Sweden, it's uh, it's Helsingør yeah. and Helsing, yeah. Hel Helsingborg. Yeah. Right, so there's a catamaran that takes you from one side yeah. to the other. Yeah. So we used to drive down from uh, Oslo all the way down through Sweden to Helsingborg yeah. and take it to Helsingør. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Nice. I know. So, and my mom, I mean, I'm fluent in Norwegian. And I think, remember the one thing that my my, my parents always told me is that Danish always speak with a potato in their throat. Yeah. 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 They do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you all, you're all from Denmark? Yeah. yeah. And you're visiting or? Yeah. Oh, nice. Very nice. These guys used to live here. Oh, where? Ah. Downtown. Oh, nice. Delta. And now you're back in Denmark? Yeah. Flat. Very flat. Very flat. They live in Chris flat. Christiana. Very <laughs> Do you guys go to Sweden or Norway at all or no? Yes. Yeah. Sweden a lot. Yeah? Is it? Ch so I know that Norwegians go to Sweden because it's cheaper to buy everything. Which I don't understand because it's only like maybe a hundred kroner cheaper. <laughs> but they do. The Norwegians will just go to Sweden to buy everything. And we go to Germany, but they just uh -huh. because we have the border shop in Germany. Really? Yeah, yeah, and you can buy everything with like. No taxes. But Sweden, but if I it is a lot cheaper in Sweden, especially when you compare it to Norway. Yeah. It's always, always been. It's always so, just like up here, looking at Denmark and then I'm actually probably going to go to Norway in, I don't know, probably maybe a few weeks to see my mother. Yeah. So that's always interesting. Because every time I go through border, every time, every time I go through passport, they like <laughs> never realize that I actually speak fluent, hands down. Right, so. right, 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 right. And they're just like, what? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I know. Huh? So it's not, he's not the comedian. It was not you. Ah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. He's the other guy. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, Come to Denmark right. sometime. But I can answer the question. No. Yeah, she lives in Oldberg. Yeah. Oldberg. Yeah, which is right outside of Helsingør. Yeah, so you, you can drive from Helsingør to Oldberg. Ah, uh, not really. You, you gotta go, like... Well, you yeah, can't. You can't. Can't. You can't. How long is the drive? Five hours. Five, five hours. six hours. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah. 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 So she that's lives normal there. here. Well, from Helsingør to Copenhagen is only across the country. Yeah. No, no, no. Are you? Helsingør to Copenhagen is only half an hour. Are you guys like? Do you love? Well, it's more for the parents. Do you love art? Art? Yeah. Are you guys art buyers? You not? No. You don't buy art? Are you art buyers? I only asked because my mom's an artist in Norway, and I was, I was going to be like, oh, you should look her up and see if you like any of the pieces. She's, her and her husband are in the, her and her husband are in the, uh, the, what's that, what do they call it in Norwegian? The, the castle. What are they, what are they for Norsk? The Dronningens. The, the castle where they live, the king and queen. 
I forgot what the name is, but it's the, uh, yeah, it's the, yeah, there is, no, no, no. There's an artist throughout the family, by the way. Obviously. Ah. So you guys should, uh, nice. Yeah, I don't know. I got to come to Denmark. You know what it is? Is SAS goes through Denmark. Yeah. So you fly to, uh, you fly SAS to Copenhagen and then Copenhagen to Denmark. So one of the reasons, so one of the reasons why I loved Howard the Duck is that it was just like this whole weird thing. I never liked war movies or like period pieces. I yeah, remember my yeah, parents yeah. took me once to go see that movie with Glenn Close and Jeremy Irons. I remember it was one of those movies. I forgot what it was called, but it was just, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm sitting through this. But I remember uh, 80s movies, because I think that's where I would escape. Yeah, yeah. Because I was like only child. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So I just escaped to movies. Yeah, yeah. So. Right. Well, a lot of people do. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me. Sure, of course. This was of course fun. Sure. I love this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great idea. Thanks, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just yeah. something to do. It's just a way to freaking... It's something different Yeah. that hopefully, you know... It's great. It's just something, you know, everyone seems to love it. I love less, it. That's you know? how great is that? Yeah. Robin Williams. Oh. I know. I know. Yeah, yeah. Gosh. Look at that. Alf. Alf's Harry very popular. That's very popular. A lot yeah. of people open Alf. A lot of people open off. Yeah. Look at that. Growing at that pains. Three company. Gosh. <laughs> Andy Griffith show. I can't believe they had trading cards. It that came out later. The it, which is even maybe more bizarre. I watched Beetlejuice as a kid so much. That was a great film. That was a great. What's film. his name? Was a such a good actor. A uh, Keaton. Yeah, Michael Keaton. He was. You know, he huge. was great in every role that he played. And he was Batman, a stand-up, I think, first too. Yeah. Was he? I think so. Oh. I think he was a comic, and then a comic actor, and then like actor, actor. Oh. I think. Okay. I mean, I could, you know. But this is great. Thanks yeah. for Thank you so much. Awesome. This guy rules. I don't know. Sir. <laughs> South Pole Santa. South Pole Santa, you are a king. king. Can I say this? Huh? Where, where do you live? New Hampshire. I came down just for this. Okay. And I mean this, dude. South Pole Santa, will you come back for Christmas and do our Christmas show and bring us yeah. more gifts? Because you fucking rule, dude. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, love yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, I think South Pole Santa. Right. South Pole Santa, that's where all these porn, old school porno magazines came from, which I'm going to oh, take yeah. one home. I want one of these. Uh, hu- this that's a good one, too. <laughs> that's got Samantha Fox, dude. Whole different models. It's not like the regular issue. It's all, the whole thing is different. That's got Samantha Fox, the old pop star. Wait, in what's in the regular issue? No, like the regular issues will be like, there's a girl, there's a girl, here's a little story. Here's, uh, like, here's the models you can get. This is going to be the first porno magazine that my son finds. <laughs> oh, Long Dong Silver's in mine. I got Madonna. Yeah. Madonna in there. Hell yeah, dude. This rules. No, this is great. I love it, dude. Thank you very much, South Pole Santa. You rule. Uh, afternoon Jazz. NYC in the, like, commercial district. There's, like, Starbucks Extreme or something. But, no, it's yeah, what, uh, it's comedians opening cards, no coffee, and I'm not sure we're with. Uh... Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, long time no see. It's uh, Franklin from England now. It's Tony the Boss from Stan <laughs> Get it fucking correct. Right? <laughs> there we Listen, go. So, I'm what from, you from Staten Island? You know what I mean, you nice. guys know you know Staten Island. You better come correct when you go over there fucking that's the That's the one that likes the Trump, right? That Listen, I, don't, I could not agree or disagree with that comment right there. I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is there's a lot of there's a lot of Trump flags in Stan Island. Yeah, so yeah. I pick a card. I see them in New Hampshire, too. You pick a pack, you tell me why you picked it, you open it up, you talk about the cards as much, as little as you want. You know? Yeah, that's a, those are kind of fun. Uh, who opened the, who opened Beavis and Butthead? Uh, Beavis, Beavis and Butthead? Sagalo. Sagalo? Sagalo oh, opened Beavis and Butthead. And man. he opened and he, he opened the freaking one of the cards looked just like Sagalo. Like if he had done his hair, it was he was wearing the same color gray shirt and the face was the same, just the uh, hair was different. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay out this uh, Dallas, Texas card here. Awesome. Uh, Why'd you pick Dallas? Some reason I, I like a cowboy, good old cowboy, good for the good for the heart, you know. The cowboys are racist, you know. <laughs> you gotta see it. You can feel the racism in the card, you know. 
The strangest thing about Dallas is it should have been called Houston because Houston is where all the oil is. But who the guy it? who wrote it didn't know that, so Hold he on. called it Dallas. Did you say that somebody ate this gum? This shit looks like it was from World War Three. Who ate the gum? Mark Norman's eating the gum. That guy's not a human being. No, I'm kidding. He's a killer. <laughs> and he ate it like snacks. He kept chomping it. And, <laughs> that um, guy is superhuman. Yeah, he ate it, ate it. He Simeon ate it. Goodson spit it out. Simeon? It dissolved. No, it dissolved in his mouth. That's wild. Bro, um, this is wild. Josh Ademeyer spit it out. So tell me about the card. You got to tell uh, me about what so you're I getting. I take one of those cards? Well, no, whatever. Who are you, who are you getting? Tell, uh, what, what's the thing? These guys you, all look like borderline... Sex offenders. No, I'm kidding. Ah. They look like uh, they, they were involved in the in the slave trade. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, you say whatever you want. It's all good. I mean, no, I'm they, saying that there's racist cards over here. Because it's a Dallas, Texas. It's da it, you know, yeah. The cards are racist. The so, cards themselves are racist. No. Uh, this guy looks a little interesting. Who's he on the phone with? You see what I'm saying? Like, I like this card. Why mm. is he on the phone? Who's he on the phone with? Is he buying hookers? If so, how old are they? You know what I'm saying? Are they of age? You know? Yeah, yeah. I feel like you're doing a lot of projecting. And that's <laughs> JR, right? <laughs> and he was the guy who got shot. Who's JR? That. That's the guy. That was, that's, he got yeah. shot. That he was the big JR. episode of freaking, that, that was the biggest cliffhanger in like all time. This guy looks constipated. I mean, he looks like guilty of something, right? He was a pretty famous actor. He was in a really? bunch of shit. He was in like, I Dream of Genie or something like that. You know, I'm 32 years old. I don't know what dream is. You picked Dallas. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> You'd think you know something about him. You, there's all these things you just. Who are these women? Are they you want to say cowboy or something? Um, well, yeah. There's, there's a. Uh, what's her name? There's some attractive chicks in there. Yeah, let's get their numbers. Let's call them up. Yeah, they're a little older yeah, now. <laughs> they're a little older How now. We're doing a little video over here. <laughs> Not going on. That's everything. Hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> Staten <laughs> Island. <laughs> Staten Island, baby. <laughs> Listen, I, you know. All right, so just sign one then. Oh, right, sign one. Uh, and yeah. We, and what, are you going to put it in the, in the thing? Well, yeah, it's just how we do it. It's All just right, how, so the name of the game. I'm signing this what's one right What's this here. called? Like, Comedians opening cards, no coffee. I don't really have a signature. Opening cards, no coffee. Right. Okay. And you're a comedian. Here's cards. No coffee. Okay. Right? I'm into it. I'm into so it. So what's your name? Gastro. Gastro Monte. It was good, homie. Awesome. <laughs> did you perform here tonight? Yes, I oh, did. Yeah. Awesome. How was it? Well, it was fun. I, I love the stand. Yeah. Were you cool. on with Mark? With Norman? Um, um, no. I no believe he was downstairs. I was in the upstairs. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was with uh, Joe List on that show. Oh, awesome. Yeah, Sweet. Good times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A bunch of the comedians go up, down, up, down, yeah, you know. Yeah, uh, do the workout. Uh, uh, Ellis Francis, maybe he was dealt, He had a couple Hell shows yeah. up and down. He opened up uh, the show. The show you're doing? Yeah. yeah. Uh, great lineups, too. You know, yeah, it's unbelievable. Man. It's a beautiful time. Club yeah, yeah. And and the beginning of the week is really the time to come to see freaking well, people doing their stuff. Yeah, like it's exactly. Really trying to stuff oh, out. It's, I think it's the best time to see it. But yeah. anyway, okay, so here, let's give you some. Uh... Yeah, let's give hey, I look, let, me, let me look through these here, these gems. Yeah. Okay, so I got to pick one deck that calls me. Yeah. Cindy Lauper, 21 Jump Shooters Fire. Yeah. Let's Big Jay Oakerson opened that one. Okay, okay. But he did a whole show on, on that. Really? Him, oh. Ari, and Soder during the lockdown, or during, lock, yeah, during that lockdown thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, with COVID. They did a whole thing watching oh, all the episodes fire. and then talking about them, I guess. That's fire. Yeah. Michael Jackson Tops is kind of hard. And then he said, I think they bought a whole case and opened them one, for one of the shows. You really? Know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I, got a, uh, I think I got one. All right, what are you thinking? Um, right now, I'm leaning Ninja Turtles. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. popular. That might be my thing. Uh, who, who, uh, who did Ninja Turtles? Um, 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 God, I couldn't remember his name that day freaking either, but then I got it. Oh, uh, uh, he was Damn. with Sa he was with Sagalo. Sagalo. They had a podcast. The two, three of them. Robin Hood's kind of fire too. Uh, though. This is the first VHS tape I own. Mm. My, my aunt bought it for me. Right. And like uh I didn't I didn't want the movie. Right. But it was the only VHS I had for like two years. So, so like, you that I, you watched it too many I times. I memorized I even know the, the song at the end. Some white boy sings a country music song at the end of it. I'm way too into this. This right. was uh Morgan Freeman at his yes. youngest and he was still old. Really? Right, 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 yeah. right, right, he's right, like right. Sixty in this movie. 
Yeah, what yeah, yeah, yeah. Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Oh, 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 yeah, the yeah. better Robin Hood. Like, the I new one ain't, that. ain't rocking with this. I watched that, actually. Yeah? I yeah, vibe yeah, yeah. with it. I'm a fan. You a fan? Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I like it. I like it. People all complain about uh, the main actor's lack of accent. The king? Or no. Like, or, or Kevin Costner? Costner. Nah, be Costner's piece for me. Everyone. Dude, whole, I don't care what movie he in. I'm into it except for the, the, the wolf dancing joint. I ain't vibe with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Dances with Wolves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This was dope. Uh, the movie where he's teaching um, Ashton Kutcher how to swim. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That joint's fire. But uh, despite my love affair with this, I got to go Ninja Turtles. Yeah, Turtles is great. My generation. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Cannon. Cannon pizza, opened. Uh, uh, pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. It was two. Oh, this is from the other side. Other side, yeah, yeah. Bugging All out. good. All right. Oh. And so why are you picking Turtles? Well, this is... Uh, this is the cartoon that I most connect with. You know what I mean? I watch this. I have a, a cup that I bought in 1989 from the Big R supermarket that no longer exists in Brooklyn. Ooh. And it has the Ninja Turtles all around it. Yep. And it's still in my parents' house. Stuff. Wow. Up, a I licensed product? Straight up. And a, to a, like a, a, a local... Supermarket. A local supermarket chain, big R. Wow, they got that's probably out. pretty good. Yeah, oh, straight like up. Like that's probably a scarce. Is it plastic or glass? It's a uh, plastic. Plastic, yeah, but yeah. It's still in good shape. Right, right. Um, I've looked it up. It's like thirty bucks on eBay. For yeah, that, the same one. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it means a lot to me. Uh, this is the cartoon I watch the most. Um, everybody wanted to be Leonardo or uh, growing up because they wanted to be the leader. And then as they got older, everybody wants to be Raphael because they become like emo adults. Huh. All right? But I'm a purist. I'm Michelangelo. I like the fun of it. Plus, if you keep up with the current ones, he actually becomes like jaded and angry. So you get the full emotional growth. Wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Character. Now, I mean, y'all know I was nerding out like this, but it's dope. <laughs> That's what it's all You're about. Hurting. Word up, Stop B. playing with me. Bro. Real Same. talk, y'all know about this, B. Stop <laughs> playing with me. <laughs> books on the block, yo. Real talk. I'll find you so we come in and your day. shit out, son. All day. <laughs> Plus, I got a kid knock about all this shit and yeah. be like, yo, this is for you, but nah, fuck you, B, it's yeah. for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Real talk. Nah, you wild. Well, this will probably be the freshest gum. Like, this got to be older than that, that right? That shit is old as what year is your up. What year was your rapper? Oh, actually, I think your gum is going to be... Oh, is that the one? There's one of them that's real nasty. The gum is, is, is super bad. Like, it's... My yeah, yours. Yeah. Your gum's bad because it'll be, like, discolored. Nah, B, I'm good. This this gum is from, this pack is from '89. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nah, yeah. B, it's old. You, you, you don't. don't. You get syphilis. Yeah, I, I ain't that. <laughs> that's coming around again. Syphilis is right it? now. <laughs> that's the one that's. I the think syphilis come there's back, something baby. that's it's coming around. There's <laughs> <laughs> syphilis the remix, baby. Watch your pussy. Syphilis is coming back. <laughs> it's, right. it's dropping. Got a dope Michelangelo card here. Boom. I like that. I like that. Oh, nice. Talk to. Oh, him. and it's part of a puzzle. Boom. Yeah. Boom. That's a two sided right there. Okay. Mechanical monsters. This guy should read children's books. Oh, it's another I one of these double. Yeah, like, what well, is the def the info of the mechanical monsters? Yeah, exactly. Back. Okay. Then we got. Uh, a lot of the cards from this era, it seems. Uh, I've, I've noticed in a bunch of these packs, they do this thing like they're. Like, it's two different scenes. Like, they're telling a story. Yeah, I like it. And it's lot. almost like it reminds. But sometimes you don't know what. Like, okay, this looks like it's pr perspective. Like, this is from his perspective. That's yeah. his arms. And now we're seeing it from this other perspective. That's interesting. It's, it's And then some... But other times, you don't know what's going on. It's like those school tests. Remember those things? <laughs> and you're like, what's the third picture? And you're like, sometimes you have no clue. And you know what I mean? Click all the ones where you see the fire hydrant. That's what this is right here. <laughs> yeah, you know exactly. I mean? oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Uh, we got... Michelangelo clobbering people. It's going to be hard for me because it's three cards already with Michelangelo in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, this is Splinter going from man to rat. Ooh, you know that's what I, mean? I love the rat. This is cartoon specific legacy. That's the only rat I like. Real talk. He's peace. You know what I mean? I, I give him a slice anytime he wants. <laughs> it looks like the ho it's like a hologram. Yeah. Is that what like he's, so he fell in the, in, the, in the ooze and he's turning into a rat. He like morphs between rat and person. This is cartoon only, though. Okay. Like, in the movies, he's a little rat and becomes a big rat. In the cartoons, he's huh. a person who oh, wow. hits him and the rat, and then he becomes a this rat This guy knows person. a lot about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real talk. Real. I'm into this. It, but they had to stop doing it because it didn't make sense because why did the turtles become little turtles to big turtles? He went from person to rat. It wasn't consistent. It wasn't inc Yeah, you know what I mean? But the All movie right. straightened that out. Yo, yo, Michelangelo number four. 
Turtle power flexing right there. Woo. I like that. Yo, this is this is the perfect pack for me. It, it was it was deceptive because they had they had Mike uh, Leo on the cover. Yeah, well, you don't know what's gonna be inside. No, you don't talk. know. Straight up so Forrest this, this Gump style. Thing, right? Opening cards. Cause I've heard of this before. Like, yeah, Techno I mean, Drone Terra. I April points out that Donatello saw an entire second structure. Below street level. Oh, shit. You see that? Below street level, <laughs> my G. The Technodrome, and as far as anyone knows, uh, it may not have been flooded. She's right. Forbidding, futuristic, and decidedly alien looking, the Technodrome is the Shredder's secret headquarters, my G. Right here. Shredder's kicking it in here. You want to shut shit down? You want to take out the Shredder? You got to go right in here, my G. Make plans, okay? There's no train stops for that. Boom. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Oh okay. My God. Now here comes the real challenge. I don't know what card you're giving up. Yeah, like I, you got to pick issue. a card to give up. I got to give up a card. I know. This is hard. I know. Well, I get to keep all the cards except one. Right. I got. Yeah, I get except to keep all the whatever one. you sign, you can keep the others if and you so desire. Where do you put those? I, I, well, they're floating around different places. At some point, they'll all be together at some place. But you know, it's these just, two are winners for sure. I, the two sided one, and I just found out it's a two sticker. One is a sticker. sticker. I was That's wondering about that go. one. Yeah, yeah. That's staying with me. Sticker Turtle are good. Power. I like that. That's staying with me. He's an action there. I like the clobber too. Bomb. That's staying with your boy. That's <laughs> three you... Michelangelo action cards. The gum. Oh, the gum. That was the gum. Yeah. yeah oh, that, that was my sense. gum. No, 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 no. It was all the parts it? and pieces. Okay, I actually just lost half of my gum too. My gum is breaking What's apart up? in your traffic evil. Bomb. <laughs> Off to... Okay. Now we're down to three. We got the mechanical monsters who are fighting Michelangelo. I like that. We got man into Ratman. Staten Island. <laughs> the fuck is Staten Island? Is dirt bag. In the house. And I don't the know why I'm Staten Island. So. <laughs> Staten Island garbage. Yo. Technodrome is staying with me. I like that. <laughs> Just because, like, even though I, I ain't a Shredder fan. I like this house, like just Brooklyn real estate wise. This got to be like six, seven million dollars today. I like that. He planned ahead, you know. what I mean, Hell bought yeah. that. Prices were low, probably in Williamsburg, you know, in the eighties. Draft stores, you know. Legend. But now, that dude killing right there. He probably got like eighteen comics still living in there, paying his mortgage, <laughs> chilling. Eighteen comics living yeah. there? Is that yeah. what you said? Yeah, com it's they all the big comic you know house. I mean? yeah, it's yeah, a big yeah, comic yeah, house exactly. right there. You know what I mean, he probably making TikToks, they dancing. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm torn here now. Uh, down to two. Ten. The Shredder made it in. So I'm down to Mechanical Arms, Mikey Action Shot, or the Man into Rat Man. Oh. Ten. Oh, you know what? I just figured it out. I'm realizing here, based on the color just hit different. This is not Michelangelo. This is Raphael. Oh, that Which means makes my decision a lot easier. I'm gonna maybe Rob, be getting that card. <laughs> you're staying out the game. I'm staying with the leader. You know what I mean? Respect yeah. the sensei. I like that one. That's Bob. cool. That's and I get a one. two for one there as well, still. But this is a dope card. Though. I ain't gonna shit on it. It's fire. It's just it was up against some heavy hitters. You know what I mean? I tagged this up. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let Ralph shine. So I'm gonna tag over the mechanical monsters, even though ironically it's their card. Kind of sucks for them, but you know what I mean? He made the rules of the game. It ain't me. <laughs> Bob G. Almonte. Biggest turtle fan. Bob. Awesome. I should put my... I wrote G like I'm signing a check. Gas store. Bob. <laughs> there you go. Boom. I had to fix that right there. Bob. That's me. That's the addition. It's going in. It's official. Yeah, you gotta help me with that. Oh, you put them over there. I thought you. I put them in a there. separate. I'll put them in a different spot just so they don't get mixed up. You know. Bomb. This is dope. I'm with it. I'm not doing the gum. That's insanity. I'm a diabetic. No, 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 that no, no, can't no, be no, the no. sweet thing. That and that's kills especially me. a bad one. Yeah, that's especially talk. a bad one. You imagine this is the sugary thing that kills me? A gum from '89, my G. Come on, man. Nah, we going out like that, bro. Ain't gonna happen to nah, me. Ain't going out like that. We going out with a Sunday. Nah, so, what kind of clubs are you guys playing around uh, the city and stuff? Everywhere, baby. All around the place, everywhere, huh? Everywhere, baby. Awesome. Cash these checks. We internationally known. You heard? I'm telling these, I'm, I'm, I'm like interblock known. Honestly, <laughs> I just moved out my mom's house. Pull hard. Now. Real talk. Got now, a house on the island. I'm from East New York. They know me in Bushwick, and that's uh -huh. about it. You know what I mean? It's okay. <laughs> I'm trying. 
you talk to gas so you come correct, you heard? Real talk. <laughs> Right. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Comedians <laughs> <laughs>